The orange? Oh, green's not bad. What about pink? It's hot pink. Classic blue right there. Yeah, so if you can really tell, I got a uh, Philips Hue light. It's like a smart light. You can change the color and hue and whatever on. And uh, get this cool little app to like change everything with. So I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, just got it for one light. I didn't want to like commit to everything. But yeah, that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about what's in my camera bag. Um, everyone does these kind of little videos. They're like, they're quick and dirty. They're, they're fun to do. And for me, it's more like a little like timestamp of what my what my gear is right now and like if I'm, what I'm using in the future and I can look back on this and the decisions I make or didn't make but um, I thought I'd bring you all along to show you what my daily drivers are and what I like to use for my work um, so maybe gives you some inspiration or insight into what I do so let's check it out okay so the first thing we got is this bag smart bag um, it's a great bag all around it just doesn't suit my needs I got it probably about a year year and a half ago maybe two years when I had all my canned stuff and it, it kind of it housed all my gear before I had my little photo shelf um, so yeah it served a good purpose it's a great bag it, I could like store a lot of stuff in it and even in the top compartment I could unroll it and put a lot of crap in there but yeah I've been shaving down my gear especially in terms of like using Fuji and um, I just don't need it I have another place for it so I'm just trying to sell that now and I've never been a big fan of these humongous bags so it's a great bag but uh, yeah it's got to go but what this is here is the Manfrotto something something bag. I don't I don't know all the technical names of these. I'll link everything down below the Amazon links. But yeah, it's Manfrotto bag, great bag, love it. Like it's smaller, it's more compact, it's everything I need. So um, yeah. So this is the battery case in the front. Um, I put it there it's easy access. I have the contacts facing up in the battery pack, so I just know what's charged, what's not. It's like my little system of how I know. Uh, these are the Fuji batteries. Uh, they're not great. They're actually awful, but they are what they are. Uh, those are the batteries. I have another battery in there, which is the uh, my like my battery pack, I guess you'd call it. It's a 16,000 milliamp. Uh, there's two USB ports on it. Gives a good charge. Can charge some phones and other miscellaneous things, but it's helpful, especially for school. So yes, that is deodorant you're seeing. I, as I said, this is my school backpack. You get sweaty. You know how it is. Don't want to smell. That's all you need to know. This is a little bottle of Advil for when I get headaches from dealing with people's bullshit all the time, as you may know. This here on the side is like a little fake GoPro. It's called an Apeman, I think. I got it on Amazon. I used to have a GoPro. I never really used it, sold it, made some money, and I just got this thing. It does a good job, does 4K and all that, so yeah. So this here is the Peak Design strap, and as much as I hate Peak Design for their outrageous prices, like it's ridiculous how much they charge for their stuff. It's good stuff, so can't knock it, but um, they have a really cool system with like these little dangly clip things on, on all their uh, strap systems that you can just clip in. So this is the Peak Design wrist strap. I also have a neck strap, which I think I'll get to, but yeah, this is a really good uh, wrist strap that I just put on all my cameras just to have something to hold on to. So this is where the X-H1 would normally be, but that's uh, what I was filming this video on. So I just use the X-T1 as the placeholder. I'm trying to sell that camera right now, um, but it still has a purpose to me. I kind of bring it out around as like a little walk around camera because it's not that heavy. Uh, this is my 28 millimeter uh, FD. It's a manual lens. I have a whole collection of manual lenses I do film, which we'll get into. Um, but yeah, that's what's on my Fuji the most because it comes to around a 42 millimeter, I think, equivalent. So it's a, it's a decent walk around lens that I can use and it's pretty sharp as well. Um, this is the adapter that it comes with. It's a KNF concept adapter. Again, I'll link everything down below. Um, KNF makes like a whole slew of adapters. That's what they do. They actually, I might, my tripod is KNF, is KNF concept as well well made like they do a good job so um yeah that's most what most of my adapters are so with every peak design purchase you get these little like gray pouches uh, i think i got it with my neck strap and uh what else did i get it with oh yeah like the wrist strap and i think also yeah as you'll see the little kind of like plate that's in there it's a um it's a like a breastplate that goes on uh, backpacks that you can slide your camera onto. It's like a quick release plate. Really cool system they made. A little expensive for what it is. It's like 80, 90 bucks, I think. So, but it does a good job. It's never failed, it's never broken. Uh, it makes it really easy to just kind of clip your camera down and do what you have to do rather than like setting it down or like pulling your wrist strap off. So it's, it's really handy despite like what it looks like. So. so these are not completely photography related. These are my Tautronic 
um, noise canceling earbuds. I don't use them as much because I have uh, the Sony XM2s now. And, but they were great. Uh, I was really skeptical at first because there's so many of these like little crappy off brands on Amazon that like just flood your search whenever you look for something like headphones. So I got these, uh, there was good reviews and I've actually been really impressed with them. Uh, and I've been really impressed with the Tautronics brand overall with their prices and quality. So uh, if you're looking into getting some like decently uh, sounding quality headphones, Tautronics is like across the board, all pretty good, except for their like ear wireless earbuds like they're kind of airpod ones those were really crappy but other than that like from what i've seen they're good so this is one of my favorites this is a little gem of mine i got recently uh, as, I t as i said i am uh leaning over to film a lot more i love film uh, and i always keep this in my bag it's a little point and shoot it's the olympus well it can go by two names it's the either the olympus mu2 or mgu2 or the stylus epic the olympus stylus epic it's weird that it's based on like north america versus europe uh, but it's a great point to shoot little camera. Uh, I have a roll of four Portra 400 in there right now and I'll just bring it around, pop it out if I'm with like friends or like little things like that. It won't be for like actual stuff I'm trying to document or like real photos, but it's just like a nice little thing to have with me. So love that camera. So these bad boys uh, are my XM2 cans. Uh, there's a, Sony does a horrible name with naming their products, but it's like the Sony 2000 XM2. They have like the XM1s, the XM2, the XM3. Um, but they're great. They do a, a phenomenal job of noise canceling, which is what I needed. The sound quality is great. Uh, I mostly listen to podcasts, so I like I need a good noise canceling set of headphones. They're Bluetooth, obviously, um, because it's mostly like people talking with podcasts. So I need like that good isolation. So I haven't really found any problems with them. And um, yeah, I, like the XM3s are great as well, but they're just a little pricey still. And I got these for like two twenty five, I think. So. Wasn't a bad deal. This one's a simple one. My laptop charger. Always keep it up top and uh, in my bag, just in case. All right, so this is the laptop that I use. It's an Asus something rather. Their naming system is also bad. Um, it's a ZenBook, I think. But yeah, it's an awesome laptop. It's it's sleek. It's slim. Uh, lightweight. Pretty powerful. 16 gigs of RAM, I think. 500 SSD. Um, other couple of tech specs in there but yeah it does the job um good crisp screen it has this like screen in the touchpad which is kind of gimmicky but like kind of cool if you can use it right but nice to have it's it's cool but uh, yeah, that's like my driver for laptop photo editing video no problem so yeah it's awesome little thing okay so that was kind of the setup for like my regular stuff i guess like my digital setup um now i as I said, I love doing film uh, and I have, I guess, what's called a film setup as well too. Cause like when I go to shoot film, I'll obviously pack a bit differently. So I made like a second little portion of this where um, if I was gonna go shoot film, this is what I was bring. And the first thing on the list is the Bronica ETR, which is my big chunky uh, medium format camera, which I'm actually getting rid of because I got a new camera, which I'm not gonna tell you about yet. It's gonna be a surprise. But uh, yeah, that's been a little workhorse of mine. Uh, I love it. It's um, yeah, it's fantastic. It's it's fun to use. It's good to hold. It's a nice size, as far as medium format cameras go. Um, a couple of rolls still to, to develop on it, but yeah, I love that camera. Again, uh, always going to keep the Olympus in there, no matter what I do. Perfect little camera for as well as the Peak Design strap, always in there as well. Could use it for basically everything. And lastly, this is my. I'll throw this in here sometimes, but it's my Canon 5D3. Um, which I used to use with an adapter on it for my FD lenses. I don't really, I've sold most of my lenses for that camera. Um, I think I just have a Tamron 7200 left. So it's not really the most versatile lens. So I, I put some of the um, FD lenses on there. I just thought I'd include that because I have it and use it sometimes, but not very much. All right, that's my camera bag. Those are my two loadouts or things I typically like to carry when I'm using digital and film and kind of like, basic daily life stuff. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments about what I use, why I use it, um, anything about the setup, I'd be more than happy to answer that. And uh, other than that, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be sweet. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Please stay safe. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but we're obviously still going through all this madness. But yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside, uh, first and foremost. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be a spicy one. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be spicy. See you soon.